Welcome to another episode of Boy with Dog Cooks Food. Today I'm going to be making a very easy and simple pork soup that has very few ingredients and it's very easy to prepare. So first I'm going to use a pork shoulder butt. It has a lot of fat. If you simmer it for a long time, it becomes very tender and juicy to eat. I want to first cover and coat the whole thing in salt so and give it time to rest so all the salt can be taken into the meat itself. Once you're done covering it, put cover it with plastic and just leave it to rest in the refrigerator. The next thing I'm going to prepare the vegetables for this uh, soup. There's not a lot of ingredients, so I'm using quite a bit of carrots. Um, it carries, imparts a nice sweetness to the flavor and also gives the dish nice coloring too. So once you finish peeling all the carrots, you can go ahead and prepare the rest of the vegetable as well. You want to do the same thing as you always do, top and tail the uh, carrots and then chop it into big chunks because this is going to be cooked for a while, so you don't need to cut it super small. So nice big chunks, try to keep them about the same size. So that way they will cook evenly. And next, I'm gonna prepare the uh, cabbage, which is the main ingredient in this dish. The cabbages are relatively clean, so it's very easy to maintain and take care of. You would generally kind of peel the outside layer, and then you would give it a quick wash to get rid of any kind of dirt on it and then I'm going to quarter it and take out the uh, stem from that and it's very easy to cut the stem and now I'm going to also do the same thing and chunk it into large pieces and because this is going to stew for a while so I don't want it to completely dissolve into the soup. Now finally the onion. Now the onion you could cut it big or you could cut it small that's not that's really up to preference. Um, I'm going to probably cut it small because I do want this to kind of dissolve itself into the soup. So I'm making thick slices out of them. I split them in half so that way they have a better chance of disintegrating into the soup itself. And once that's all cut up and prepared, uh, basically all the vegetable items is done for this um, soup. Now I'm going to cover that in plastic film and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. And now a uh, meat's been probably sitting around for about an hour or two. And I'm going to cut it in half because that piece is just too big for the pot that I'm using. I'm using a cast iron uh, pot. And after boiling for an hour or two, I'm adding in uh, chicken stock now. And it's going to, once I finish, that also adds more flavor to it. But once that's done, I'm going to put it back onto the stove to simmer. And now it adds the extra flavor of the uh, chicken and the pork together. As you can see, the meat is nicely cooked through and it's also very soft and tender and it's actually breaking apart at this point. And that piece has completely just crumbled and separated. So it's very tender and very good to eat right now. And it's full of nice flavors and it's a little bit salty from the uh, salt that we had let it marinate in earlier. While the stock is still hot, I'm dumping in all the vegetable and I'm trying to spread them out evenly and I keep piling in until everything goes in. And you could generally fill this pot all the way to the brim because as it cooks, all, everything will start to simmer down and it will all go into the soup and the vegetable itself will also let out some of its juices and combine with the stock. Uh, while the meat is still hot and the you should start shredding the pork apart. And it's very important to do it at this time and one piece just try to run away. You wanna make sure you break everything down because the fat is juicy and you want it to coat and evenly distribute through the rest of shredded meat. The plating is very simple, meat down on the bottom, vegetable on top, a bit of stock to sit on top of it. And that's really it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and watch the other videos. Have a good day.